I was here last year, I didn't get a chance to interview. Congratulations, posthumously, for last year. Well. <laughs> Thank you. So, where did you start with the Irishman? I mean, well, Marty just had an idea that it was, should be very stripped down and simple, deceptively simple, because the mafia guys in the movie are quiet. Um, and so it was very different from our other mafia movies. Yeah. It was a much different, and we all had to adjust to that, but once you did, it was great. Is that a different discipline for you? Sorry? Is that a different discipline for you? Oh, very much so. And, and the poor sound editors who always love to pump everything up, Marty said, no, 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 I don't want to hear that. You know, simple, simple. And uh, because he was also trying to show the blandness of the violence in the mafia, that they're not thinking of it morally. It's a job, yeah, you know? Yeah. So the violence is shot very simply in wide shots. It's not all kinds of fancy cutting. But it was... Uh, correct for the movie because the, the long slow build to the end of his life where he realizes living as a gun for hire is maybe not a good idea yeah, absolutely you end up alone um, it, it was perfect for but it's funny you say that because it's only now you say it that I, I I was just thinking of the film as you were saying it and one weirdly one of the scenes that just pops into my head is the olive oil and the bread scene yeah. where it's just it's this unspoken bond that now exists between these two guys has a religious connotation yeah. for Scorsese, you know, The Last Supper and... Uh, uh, so Jim O'Leary, you don't need to tell, I get uh, it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it, 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 was, it was such a wonderful film to work on. It was a joy, you know, and the actors, oh my God, every single one of them were brilliant and Marty's conception for it was so strong and he stuck to his guns. He didn't want to explain too much because he said it'll turn into a documentary about Hoffa. I don't want that. Um, just little brushstrokes of history and, uh, you know, uh, make it about the characters, make people really feel, which they do, mm. for the characters. Yeah. Obviously, the cast is legendary, but oh. th he had to age them artificially. Does that, does that have any uh, effect on how you do your job? Actually, we, cut, we finished cutting the film without de-aging. We screened it seven times with no de-aging, and nobody minded. <laughs> so, um, because the actors are so good that people were engaging anyway. For sure. And so it was wonderful. And, um, you know, in the long run, the de-aging all worked out fine. It was a brilliant process by uh, Pablo Hellman and ILM so that the actors didn't have to wear hundreds of dots and two little cameras and a helmet. And Marty said, these great improvising actors are never going to do that. Yeah. So it was great. Right, listen, enjoy tonight. Best Thank of luck. Thank you so much. Lovely seeing you. you. Take care. Thank you.